Dear students, today let us learn about repetitive DNA. The genome of eukaryotes including human beings contain large portions of non-coding sequences which are commonly sequences with high copy numbers or similar copies of sequences and such sequences are called repetitive sequences or repetitive DNA. Repetitive DNA are broadly grouped into three major categories that is terminal repeats, tandem repeats and interspersed repeats. First, let us take up terminal repeats. It contains identical sequences of DNA that are repeated hundreds or thousands of times. Long terminal repeats or LTRs are commonly found at the ends of retrotransposons or proviral DNA. Retroviral DNA such as human immunodeficiency virus or HIV containing the LTRs are first transcribed into an RNA followed by reverse transcription into complementary DNA or cDNA from which a double stranded DNA or dsDNA containing the full LTR is formed. The double stranded retroviral DNA containing the LTR is then inserted into a region of the host chromosome mediated by the LTR using specific integrase. Next, let us learn about tandem repeats. Tandem repeats are successive identical or nearly identical that is degenerate repeated copies of DNA which lie adjacent to each other indirectly or inverted sequence. The tandem repeats are commonly classified into three types that is the satellites, mini satellites and micro satellites. First let us see what satellite DNA is. Satellite DNA are composed of large repeat units called satellites and are commonly found in centromeres and heterochromatin regions of eukaryotic genomes. They are named satellite DNA since they have a different density from the bulk DNA due to different CZ or AT content due to the presence of large monotonous repeats and therefore form a second or satellite band when genomic DNA is separated on a density gradient. A family of alpha satellite repeat with a primary unit of 171 base sphere found at or near the centromere forms the functional core of centromeres that binds kinetochore proteins and nucleate kinetochore assembly. Other satellites mostly have unknown function and are regarded as junk DNA. Next, let us take up mini satellites. Mini satellites are shorter tandem repeats with units of about 10 to 60 base pairs. They are found mainly in the subtelomeric regions and centromeres of chromosomes. For example, the telomeres of human chromosomes are formed by several kilobases of the hexameric mini satellite tandem repeats of TTA ZZZ. The mini satellites are often highly polymorphic with regard to the number of repeat units in a repeat and therefore are commonly used as genetic marker. Certain other mini satellites are also believed to have regulatory functions. Example, different lengths of the repeats in a variable number tandem repeats or VNTR in the promoter region of the insulin gene have been found to be associated with different types of diabetes. Next, let us learn about microsatellites. Microsatellites have short repeat units of 1 to 5 base pairs and are very common in genomes. The microsatellites are often highly polymorphic called simple sequence repeats or SSRs in short and are commonly used as genetic markers. Repeats of two base pairs like the CA repeated n times are the common family of these microsatellites. Microsatellites are distributed throughout the genome including the non-coding parts of the genome and also in regulatory regions and within the coding region. 
Microsatellites present in the non-coding regions are generally polymorphic since they accumulate mutations over the generations and are used for DNA fingerprinting. On the other hand, microsatellites that are located in regulatory flanking or intronic regions of genes or directly in codons of genes causes phenotypic changes and diseases like triplet expansion diseases such as Fragile X syndrome and Huntington's diseases. Fragile X syndrome is due to the expansion of the CZG trinucleotide repeat in the Fragile X mental retardation 1 or FMR1 gene located on the X chromosome, which is required for normal development of connection between neurons. Huntington disease is a fatal neurological illness with adult onset caused by the expansion of the trinucleotide CAG repeat. In normal individuals, the CAG sequence is repeated less than 20 times, coding for a stretch of glutamine residues or polyglutamine tract in the Huntington protein. However, in Huntington disease, the number expands to more than 30 glutamines. Another example of trinucleotide expansion disease is the myotonic dystrophy caused by expansion of the trinucleotide CTZ in the 3' untranslated region of the dystrophia myotonica protein kinase or DMPK. Next, let us learn about the interspersed repeats or interspersed nuclear elements. The interspersed repeats are repetitive DNA sequences in which the repeat sequences do not lie adjacent to one another as in tandem repeats, but are dispersed throughout the genome. They are found in all eukaryotic genomes and the sequence of the repeats vary depending on the type of organism. Most interspersed repeats originate by a process of transposition or the jumping of a DNA segment from one place of the genome to another place of the genome and therefore are also called transposable DNA elements or transposons. Transposons generally possess similar or inverted repetitive DNA of 5, 7 or 9 nucleotide at their ends and the enzyme transposes cleaves the repetitive sequences at its ends during transposition. The transposons are commonly divided based on their requirement or non-requirement of reverse transcription during transposition. The transposable elements that require reverse transcription during transposition are known as retrotransposons or class 1 transposable elements, whereas those that do not require reverse transcription are known as DNA transposons or class 2 transposable elements. Both class 1 and class 2 transposable elements can further be divided into autonomous or non-autonomous types. Autonomous transposable elements can move on their own while non-autonomous transposable elements require the presence of other transposable elements in order to transpose since they lack the transposes or reverse transcriptase gene required for transposition. Class 1 elements, also known as retrotransposomes, forms the major portion of the human genome and they move through the action of RNA intermediates. Class 1 transposable elements do not encode the enzyme transposes and they use reverse transcriptase enzyme to reverse transcribe the RNA sequences into DNA, which is then inserted into the target site during transposition. There are two major types of class 1 transposable elements, that is the long terminal repeats or LTR retrotransposons and the non-LTR transposable elements. The LTR retrotransposons contain long terminal repeats or LTRs on both ends. LTR retrotransposons and DNA transposons are remains of ancient genome and are not actually capable of jumping. LTR retrotransposons are characterized by the presence of direct long terminal repeats ranging from about 100 base pairs to over 5 kilo base pairs in size. Examples include the TY1 
Copia like or Shidoviride and the TY3 Zipsy like or Metaviride etc. LTR retrotransposons share many features with retroviruses and major difference between retrovirus and TY1 copia and TY3 gypsy retrotransposons is the presence of an enveloped protein in retroviruses. Commonly, a retrovirus may be transformed into an LTR retrotransposon by inactivation or deletion of the domains that enable extracellular mobility. On the other hand, non-LTR retrotransposons or transposable elements lack the terminal repeats and examples include the long interspersed transposable elements or lines in short and short interspersed transposable elements or sign in short. The lines comprise about 21% of the human genome and line 1 or L1 family alone comprises 17% of the genome with about 100 still active or capable of retrotransposition. The active L1 elements are about 6 kb long and contain two open reading frames. ORF1 and ORF2 bounded by 5' prime untranslated region or UTR that also functions as a promoter and 3' prime UTR containing the polyase signal. ORF2 or open reading frame 2 contain domains that codes for reverse transcriptase and endonuclease enzymes responsible for integration while the function of open reading frame 1 is not clear. The main sign family in humans is formed by ALU elements that make up about 15 to 17 percent of the human genome. The ALU elements contain a pair of conserved ALU1 restriction sites and commonly have a 282 base pair consensus, which is believed to be derived from the signal recognition particle or SRP RNA subunit called 7SL RNA that recognizes signal peptide and helps in translocation of the ribosome messenger RNA linked to nascent peptide complex to endoplasmic reticulum or ER channel or for the integration into the membrane. Alus are transcribed by RNA polymerase 3 and can bind to two SRP proteins that is 9 and 14. Thus, ALU can also bind to ribosomes that translate L1 mRNA and by its polyethyl and force the ORF2 protein to reverse transcribe and integrate its RNA instead of L1 mRNA. Class 2 transposable elements represent less than 2% of the human genome and they are characterized by the presence of terminal inverted repeats of 9 to 40 base pairs long at both of their ends. DNA transposons do not use RNA intermediates and autonomous class 2 transposable elements and code the protein transposes which helps the transposon in moving by excising or inserting from the genome by a cut and paste mechanism without involving an RNA intermediate. The transposes may bind to specific target sequences specifically or non-specifically and makes staggered cut at the target site producing sticky ends. The DNA transposone is thus cut out and ligated into the target site. DNA polymerase then fills in the resulting gaps from the sticky ends resulting in target site duplication and DNA ligase joins the sugar phosphate backbone. Thus, the insertion sites of DNA transposons may be identified by short direct repeats formed by filling up of the staggered cut in the target DNA followed by inverted repeats. Let us now see the conclusion. We have seen that repetitive DNA constitutes a major portion of the genome of eukaryotes. Although they include mostly large portion of non-coding sequences, they may also be present in the coding or regulatory regions of genes and may perform some function.
They are most commonly localized in the centromeric or in telomeric regions of chromosomes which help in maintaining the structure and function of the centromeres and telomeres. While some types like the transposons are found dispersed in the genome and they can also move from one place of the genome to the other part of the genome. Thank you.